my name is Bobby. Welcome to our channel, Trini Bites. Today we're gonna to do some stew, wild hog, some curry chicken, and barbecue pork chops marinated with stand. So this is the, uh, the wild hog, cut up into pieces. And I'm gonna season it with ketchup. Soy sauce. quarter cup of each and uh, grind seasoning with bandania, garlic, onions and green onions. And mix them up all together. And of course everybody's favorite habanero pepper so I'm going to put some oil so we're going to put a quarter cup of uh, brown sugar once the oil is hot So you gotta get it, let it get fluffy and first you bring the, um, the meat as soon as it gets fluffy it's starts to get brown make sure it right. see how it get nice Okay, he's gonna show it now. And keep turning it for a couple of minutes. And now we're gonna cover it and check it every three or four minutes. If it needs water, we add water to it. Oh, it's nice. It's bubbling nice. I'm going to add some salt. And some black pepper. I'll give it one more turn. And then cover it again normally this takes about 45 minutes to cook so my son Chris is gonna marinate the, the pork pork chops okay he's gonna add some seasoning again it's bandania onion garlic and green onions. Then I'm gonna put some salt. Good. And some black pepper. Okay. The soy sauce. And then a whole stand. And a stack for me as well. And one for me as well. Cheers. Cheers. Right, so Mix it on top of the stand. And this is going to marinate for at least two hours. 
I don't mean to put it on the grill. It goes in the grill, eight minutes on each side. All right, so I'm gonna put a little more green seasoning because I didn't think that was enough for the last one. All right. Now I'm gonna take the tongs and mix it up. So this right now is the pork chops is marinating with the stag, the green seasoning, and the soy sauce and salt and black pepper. And in about 30 minutes, we're gonna put it on the grill. What I'm gonna do now is give it another turn, and I'm gonna boost the pepper, the habanero pepper. We're gonna give it a nice flavor. Yeah. So I'm gonna add some water very soon. It's gonna get a little more brown. I put the bone as well, because the marrow in the bone tastes very good with it. Unfortunately, we didn't get one with too much fat. I'm gonna add water. As I said before, it will take about 45 minutes because in the wild, and it's a little bit stiff. Okay, that's enough. And then I'll cover it again. I'll keep checking it every four or five minutes. What I'm gonna do is take a little taste and see if we need any salt, black pepper, or hot pepper. Mmm, this is great. So this should need at least another maybe 30 minutes. So this is going to dry down a little more and then I'm going to put a little more water again and let it cook for at least uh, half an hour. Because it looks like a little hard still. So dry down nice. Dry down a little bit and I'm gonna put some more water. It's still a, bit, a little bit hard. Okay. So after 45 minutes, the wild hog is finished. I'll leave a little sauce in it to eat with uh, the white rice. And um, it's soft and tender. So this is the end of it. Take the stove off now. Okay. Right. And look how beautiful this is looking. This is the end product. This is the wild hog uh, with rice and uh, salad. Make a taste. Mm. Beautiful, nice and tender. All right, so now we're preheating the grill up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And when the grill is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, then we're gonna put the pork chops on the grill and cook it for eight minutes on each side. All right, so now we're gonna put the pork chops on the grill. You should hear it. All right, that's a good salt we wanna eat. The grill is very nice and hot now. Beautiful color on the on the pork chops. Yeah. And again, cheers. I start me drinking. Cheers, Kobe. All right, so we reached eight minutes now. We're gonna go. Other side, the other side, the other side, the other side, the other 
Alright. So we're gonna close it now and then I cook for another eight minutes again. Alright, so now we're gonna take a taste of this pork. Look at that, very beautiful and nice. Mmm. Very tender and nice. Pork cook real good. Alright, so this is the finished product of the pork. Pork chops, boy. Look at the color on that. Hey, I'm Justin from Trini Bites, and today we're gonna be making some Guyanese style curry chicken. So we're gonna start off with our cleaned and washed boneless, skinless chicken thighs cut up into smaller pieces. We're gonna start by adding some green seasoning with bandanya, green onion, regular onion and garlic. We're gonna be using some Cool Runnings all-purpose seasoning. I would say about Two tablespoons. Mix. That's all we're gonna add into the chicken. And we're gonna move on to making our curry paste. Okay, so now we're gonna be making our curry paste. So I'm gonna be using, I know it's a Guyanese style, but it's a Jamaican style curry powder, which I really like, by Cool Runnings as well. I've added a little bit of turmeric powder on top here for color. And this is about a quarter cup of curry powder. We'll add that in. This is garam masala, roasted jeera, and that all-purpose seasoning, um, seasoning from Cool Runnings. Add that in. We'll add some more of that green seasoning. We'll mix this together. As you see, it's a little dry, so we'll add a little bit of water to create our paste. Work everything in nicely until you get a nice paste, like consistency, and there you go. Okay, so we're gonna Add some oil into the pot, the fire's already running. Keep it on high. Just a touch of oil, you don't need too much. Fry this curry until it starts to stick a little bit, and then we'll add some water and let it cook out. So now, as it's starting to stick, I'm gonna add some water. control your heat so you don't burn it or it doesn't cook down too fast so in a few minutes we will add the chicken okay so we have the marinated chicken here we're gonna add that in Incorporate everything, give it a good stir, make sure all the chicken is coated with that curry sauce. And the chicken will release its own water at first, so we don't need to add any water right now. 
Und das auch nicht ab. This should cook for, depending on what you're using, if there's bone in it, maybe half an hour to 40 minutes. This being boneless, skinless, I would give it maybe half an hour. Should be good. But always check and see. Everybody's stove is different. Everybody's pot is different. All right, next chance. Happy birthday. We think I'm gonna pick absolute. You got to pick me? Oh yeah, one. So for about 10 minutes, we're gonna check on it. It's starting to dry down. So give it a little stir. And what we're gonna do to utilize as much flavor as possible is the same bowl. We mix our curry in, we add some water. Mix it up. And that same water is what we're gonna add in. Give it a quick mix and let it continue to cook. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. We take a look. Everything has dried down a little bit. We have a little bit of sauce to be with our rice. And the chicken is fully cooked, nice and tender. We'll wait for it to cool down. And we'll eat that with some rice. Yeah, that sounds so right with our rice. All right, we're just gonna give a quick taste for salt before it finishes. That's perfect. So this is the finished product. I'm going to give it a taste. Perfect, nice and tender. Very flavorful. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.